Hi, I'm going to talk to you about non-toxic electron radiotherapy collimators. Here are my courses. Please contact MEU with further questions. So are you still using Cerebent and make an electron cutout? It can contain lead and cadmium toxic materials. And typically, even if you're using safe practices, you're often venting toxic fumes into the local environment and spreading small amounts of metal particulates around the building. So we want to avoid toxic materials. We thought we could 3D print a plastic shell, fill it with tungsten ball bearings to shield the electrons. To make it more clinically robust, we combined it with a CNC machine copper frame and some additional soft rubber 3D printed parts. So here it's all combined together. So the only part that's patient specific is the, the non-reusable, is this uh, single 3D printed part. The, all the other parts are reusable, including the BB. We made a bunch of profile measurements with iron chambers and um, film. We also did some output factor measurements. One small point to note is that the small field size small energy output factors are slightly higher than cerebrin. We attribute this to some scatter from the plastic ball, but larger energy, larger field size equivalent to cerebrin. To make sure it's clinically robust, we did a lot of drop tests, redesigned based on our drop test until we found a solution that's strong and robust. And you can see here, although the rubber bumper flies off, it absorbs the initial impact and the plastic the containing shell, BB containing shell does not crack, does not leak ball bearing. Because we have a granular shielding material, we want to make sure that we, we are not underfilling. So we have a, a calculated internal volume. And from that, we define a minimum mass. And we make sure that the measured mass is above the minimum mass. And then to double check this, we deliberately underfill by 1%. And you can see this lateral gantry angle. The BBs conspire to leave a hole, but this is still OK because this area is covered by a copper top. And so there's no electrons leaking through this area. So to put it all together, here's the workflow that we use currently. So we export the aperture using the SAPI script from our Varian Eclipse treatment planning system. This gives us the patient specific wall shape. And then we combine this with our 3D printable blank template where we can uh, put on top of this blank template some patient, additional patient information. And we just literally Boolean this patient specific wall with uh, the blank template to create a patient specific part. It's printed at 45 degrees and then filled with ball bearings. So it's almost a fully enclosed part apart from this small fill hole. And then we wait, check the weight and screw in the copper top. And that's, that's it. That this is it all all together and uh, thanks for listening and please uh, find more information in this link